Hi my friends, today I have to remake the tutorial for the part number 16 from my album with 100 parts because a friend of mine, Benzi from Finland, told me that uh, it is uh, not enough space or uh, the screen is smaller than the picture. He was right and I remake this tutorial. The part is an axle with uh, keyways, only one keyway and two holes. One is uh, cylindrical and the, the other one is conical. You see it is not complicated so I can mm, finish it very rapidly. The drawing is this one. You see here the conical uh, hole with a taper of 150 and some other dimensions. Not a great work. Let's start. New standard millimeters. Start sketch. XY plane. And now we draw the contour of the revolving volume. I try to respect the data, the dimensions in the drawing, as much as possible. I'm sure I have to modify some elements but this is a parametric software so that we can modify anything anytime the closing line is a center line close I saw that this point is on this line. You see why three, three constraints? Because this one makes red that small line, so I have to delete it. Now we have no, this must be selected before, and now we have only two constraints because these are uh, this is the point of intersection connection of two lines good diameters 15 18 20 25 again 20 and 18 the angles are 45 for this uh, slope 
eins. The total length is uh, 155. And now dimensions. This is 21. The next is uh, 35. This is 35.7. One hundred and six is uh, uh, this point one oh six thirty four One point five and a small distance of uh, zero point three is uh, uh, this one fully constrained foam. Now we apply revolve. And we have the first volume. We apply chamfers of one millimeter on uh, 45 degrees. Next is the QA which is uh, this one with dimensions radius 11 distance 17.3 distance 18 let's do this we select the plane xy we open a new sketch f7 a circle with a radius 11 with a distance from the center point on vertical of uh, 17.3 with a distance on horizontal to the right of 18 and then finish sketch extrude cut symmetrical 8 yes 8 millimeters good there are two radii of 0 0.5 here Let's apply fillets of zero point five to both ends of this segment. Good. Now we have to place here the cylindrical hole and you see that it is 5 millimeters diameter 10 millimeters from the right we have to create this axis okay we select axis we select plane we move the plane to the left 
and this my, um, means minus 10 the plane is created and then we intersect this plane with uh, the xy plane now you see here the axis another step in this strategy which is known by you to place a point this point and now all we have to do is to select the point then the axis and then diameter of 5 but not this direction we apply the other direction okay now I have to hide the, the axis and the point because we don't want to leave them there the other hole is uh, conical the diameter at the bottom is 5 millimeters and the taper is 150 150 what does this mean the taper K is the report of the diameter difference diameter not radius of two cross sections of a cone and the axial distance between the sections oh 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 too complicated I made a sketch for you you see if the taper K is 150 we have to calculate the diameter B as the difference as the sum between A and the length on 50 A plus L on 50 this is a an expression and you have details here okay let's do this we select again the same plane xy f7 we draw a line a vertical line which must be placed at uh, 8 millimeters from the face dimension 8 now I change the status of this line to be center line then I draw a sloped line as you can see here we project these two generators one two and we trim lines all of them why to place dimensions this is the bottom diameter which must be 5 and this is the upper diameter which must be connected with the length 
if you take a look here, you see L, which is a diameter. Good. I place a value here, 7, because I want to see what is the name of the parameter with diameter of 15. To do this, I go to parameters and I see here 15. This is the first line we draw and we uh, uh, use the dimension for it. D0. Good. Then I edit this by double clicking. D0 is A plus no five is the button diameter plus D0 divided by 50 and instead of 5 I can select this value which is a parameter as well D36 ok now we can make all of them constructive lines, not all of them, and we draw normal lines up and down to close the contour for applying a revolve. Finish sketch, revolve, Cut. And uh, I suppose that's all. Yes. Okay. This is the part, my friends. Material steel carbon. steel carbon semi polished or still polished still polished to be more suggestive yes let's see what is the volume of the part high properties physical update you see here the volume and you can compare with your uh, model that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye